Welcome back programmers. In the today's section we are gonna learn conditions. Now there is so many conditions available in JavaScript but condition is same as all the programming language like C, C++, Java, Python. Okay, so condition is help to do a condition between two operators so operands so let's remove this and let's type in here conditions okay so this is the condition so how we are gonna use so first condition is so if condition if you know c++ so you basically know what is if else switch case so let's say let's see first if condition so let's say we got a equal to 10 in here b equal to 20 in here okay a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 now in the previous video i told you about operators so we are gonna use operators in here so the condition is if a is less than b so the true uh, print a is less than b and b is less than a so print b is less than a okay so this is a simple program in here so if and in the bracket just enter a is less than b so do what do do documents dot write uh, a is less than you can do anything you, even you can't type logic in here you can write a function in here but this is a basic thing so i'm gonna just print in here so a is less than b okay so, so this is a simple program in here if a less than b so a is less than b but else else do what if this condition is not gonna true what if uh, here you can see 17 so what is gonna happen uh, this is gonna print this is gonna simply i'm gonna paste in here this is a is greater than b okay greater than b so save this file first let's say 10 save open browser and reload you can see we got a is less than b but let's change the value now okay let's say we got a 78 in here this is random number i know uh, let's refresh and you can see a is greater than b so that's how you can use if and else condition there's a else if too we are gonna see in the next video but that's how you can use if and else condition now let's try another uh, function in another program in here so let's say let's make a mini program if you know some website are age registered like if you are 18 plus so then and then only you can access the site or else you can't access the site so we are gonna enter the input from user and for that we have a variable age equal to windows dot prom pt and here you can type anything enter your age here okay so i know this is new for you but just copy and paste in your computer this is simply gonna uh, enter uh, this is simply gonna get a uh, input from user so let's save this and let's first try it what is gonna happen when we refresh this you can see here you can say localhost 63342 says enter your name in here so when i'm gonna enter uh, 18 here okay so it goes nothing 
because we ain't got program in here and for that we are gonna add condition but we got a input from user whatever we input in here let's say i'm gonna enter 18 here so when i click ok so it will be gonna store in my age in here ok now let's add condition if age is less than or equal to 18 so print print write but what write document dot write you can't access the site because you okay you can't access this site that's enough okay for now this is a simple logic you know save this file but else 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 what we are gonna do else this is a simple code so for that i'm gonna simply print something like uh, congratulation or site open successfully site uh, i'm gonna write site open successfully okay this is a simple logic if age is less than equal to 18 so you can't access the site but else site open successfully i know this is a faulty program because we need to write our else if condition here but we are gonna see in the next video so let's open our google chrome refresh this and let's say i am a 10 year old so okay so you can see you can't access this site but if i refresh this and i write 18 because i wrote a less than equal to i put less than equal to condition so that's why when i click ok you can see we we still got you can't access this site message why let's reload this again let's say 15 okay site open successfully so why when i put uh, 18 here so it isn't gonna open site let's say uh, i wrote less than equal to okay so that's why we need to else if condition and that's why it isn't worked i don't know why but i'm gonna crack this code that's it isn't working so that's why i just enter 70 okay 70 is good let's try 18 okay okay the site open successfully i don't know why it isn't worked less than equal to but this is good for now and that's how you can use if else condition so that is it for today's guys if you like this in the next video we are gonna learn about for loops and this it is for today's guys if you like this video like share subscribe and comment for new videos thank you